Hey everyone, this is a basic video in which I am going to charge this 12 volts UPS battery with a laptop charger. So as you can see that the voltage of a laptop charger is 19.4 volts and the voltage needed to charge this 12 volts battery is up to 14 volts. So we cannot connect this laptop charger directly to this lead acid battery because then it will be overcharged and uh, it will get heated up and your battery will get destroyed. So we need something in between the laptop charger and the battery for safely charging this battery. Okay, so let's check the voltage of the battery first. Uh, this is the positive, positive wire is here. This is the negative, the negative wire is here. You can see that the battery voltage is 12.6 volts. It is charged but not to the full value. Full charging is at 14.2 uh, volts. That's the full charging. So it is not completely charged. It can still be charged. Okay. Yeah, for, firstly what I will tell you is that the black wire is the negative wire always and the red wire is the positive wire. Uh, same as here. This is the red and this is the black terminal. Then black is negative and uh, this red is positive. So first, I will connect the negative terminal. Okay, negative terminal is connected. Now, now between the positive terminals of the laptop charger and the battery, I will connect this 12 volts incandescent bulb. To reduce the excessive voltage so that the battery can safely charge and when I will connect this you will see that the bulb will start glowing that is because the excessive voltage drop will occur on the bulb so the bulb is glowing the excessive voltage drop I will measure the voltage drop for you let's see the voltage the bulb is consuming okay so the bulb is consuming around 5 volts let's see the battery voltage now yeah the battery voltage is 14.01 14.02 and remember that uh, the full charging will be at 14.20 volts and when the multimeter indicates 14.20 then you have to remove the terminals because your battery is fully charged and you don't want to overcharge it otherwise the battery health will reduce with time you can see that the voltage is increasing slowly and slowly and as the voltage on this battery is increasing the voltage drop on this bulb will start decreasing so let's check the voltage drop on the bulb 5.06 5 yeah it is decreasing because it was increasing on the battery terminals so this is how you can simply charge your 12 volts battery with a laptop charger yeah so the charging is almost complete but remember that the battery charge has increased though but it has not yet reached the full potential. It is showing 14.23 because the charger is connected. When I will remove it, then the battery voltage will go back to its stable state. Okay. Yeah, the terminals are removed. Let's check the voltage now. Yeah, as I told you, the battery has charged from 12.5 to 13. Point, uh, 25 and uh, it is decreasing because it is st stabilizing yeah I think it will be around 13.15 uh, or 13.10 volts so it is 0.5 volts that it has increased from its initial value which was 12.60 volts So this means that even when the multimeter voltage reaches 14.20, you still don't have to disconnect the terminals. You should take it uh, to 14.5 because uh, the battery voltage reduces back 
to its uh, average initial state as you saw which was a uh, 13.20 uh, volts so for uh, complete charging you will have to keep the charger connected for a bit longer time okay now, so this is how you are going to recharge your lead acid or any 12 volts battery with a 19 or 20 volts laptop charger so guys this was a basic video for charging a battery thank you so much for watching it thank you